Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Z, and today we are back on the battlefields of Europe in Napoleon Total War Online. Another video sent in by Carl von Clausewitz, so thank you very much for him for sending this in again. And a very glorious battle awaits us on Salamanca province. Very uh, interesting battle map. These hills around the edges with the town in the middle with a couple of buildings to take in there as well. And we're going to see that reflected in the armies here today. What a fantastic battle we have on offer. Now the rules for this battle, I believe no light infantry, as you can see, and no artillery as you can also see. So just infantry and cavalry for this battle, and we shall see how it plays out. Now, Carl is playing as Sweden, and we are going to go through the army compositions now, guys. So if you want to skip it, down in the chapters down below. It'll take a little while because it is, it is a 3v3, uh, but these are all pretty simple armies, so there's not too much to go through. But please do like and subscribe before you skip ahead into the battle. So, sixth... Uh, so let's start with Sweden then, if I can speak. We have six of the standard line infantry for Carl down here, the blue and yellow of Sweden. Very nice indeed. As well as four of the lifeguards of foot, looking very snazzy with whatever the hell that is on their heads there. As well as nine, yes, a whole nine mounted Jaegers here. Nine of them ready to fight but that is probably because if we look at the prussian army here he has not brought any cavalry so he is letting carl and the ottoman player take over cavalry and he is going to focus predominantly just on the infantry battle here he's got 11 of the standard prussian musketeers as well as four of the glorious foot guards for the prussians very elite unit there and he's got one of the eighth life regiment if we can find it in here somewhere i promise you he does have one of them where has it gone there it is the eighth life regiment over here hiding behind the trees but that is all he's got and a standard general's bodyguard as well everyone here has the standard general's bodyguard now the ottoman player has 13 of the Nizam Ikeda infantry. So really going for an overwhelming infantry style of attack with these armies. As well as, of course, some glorious mounted Nizam Ikeda. Six of these boyos. Very, very good uh, mounted unit there. All the sort of um, rifle mounted units are very good. As well as the standard general's bodyguard. Now let's have a look at Portugal. Some interesting, interesting tactics with these armies on this side. So you've got six of the standard Portuguese infantry, as well as four, yes, four of the Grenadiers. Yes, the glorious boys, the biggest and the strongest of the men made, in, made it into the Grenadier company. And here they are, ready to go. Very nice indeed to see. And six of the Portuguese cavalry there. Very cool. Very cool. And France. Let's have a look at the French in the middle. They have four. This one's the most complicated army. Four of the Swiss foot. As well as one of the standard militia over here. And the National Guard rather than the militia, should I say. Two of the standard fusiliers of the line who are over on this side. Yes, there they are. Two of these boys, the standard line infantry of France, as well as two of the old guard. Yes, the glorious boys ready for battle. And two of the young guard. So a lot, a lot of elite troops over here, as well as one regiment of the 18th Regiment d'Infanterie de Ligne, the brave, uh, the brave regiment of France. Two lancers and two chasseurs à cheval make up the cavalry contingent and a standard general's bodyguard, like we've said. Now, on to Austria, who also has a very interesting army composition. It's got five of the standard German fusiliers, as well as four, sorry, three of the Hungarian grenadiers over here. Look at those snazzy uniforms. Very nice indeed. I love the hats as well. Very cool. And two 
of the German Grenadiers as well. So these guys, this side is thinking there's going to be a lot of melee fighting going on in this fight. As well as two of the Hungarian Hussars looking very fancy indeed. And two, uh, sorry, three of the standard Austrian Dragoons. Very nice. Very good indeed. And a standard general staff. So, without further ado, guys, let's get this battle underway. And it's going to be an absolutely glorious one. Now, interesting to see who moves where first and where they all move. But you can see the red line coming forward on the battle map. Very nice indeed. Coming forward, ready to fight the enemy. And the cavalry is just going to swarm the town. Now, it is an interesting uh, battle map, but quite hard to get your cavalry in this middle so you've got these little sort of access areas either side of the town where you can really do some devilish damage with the cavalry as the prussians set off on their long march ahead and oh we've got to take a screenshot there haven't we boys we've got to take a screenshot look at that the armies of prussia marching up the hills glorious now they start running and they are ready to join the fight but you can see the other line, not quite as um, uniform, I was going to say. But then again, they do have a lot more v variety in the amount of troops. The Ottomans come and take the hilltop over here, looking down upon the enemy on the other hilltop, looking across, knowing that they're going to have to fight each other very, very soon. Look at that. Glorious. Very nice. I love the Ottoman, uh, the sound of the Ottoman horn as well. Very cool indeed. Ah, the Austrians and the French are coming round this flank. Very nice. I love the build-up to the battle, guys. Let me know in the comments whether you would like me to, like, skip ahead a little bit sometimes. But I like the build-up. I think it's great. I think you get to see where each player lies and where, you know, their, their focus is going to be. But here come the Mounted Jaegers. They are pushing forward, as well as some of the standard line infantry for Sweden as pretty much the armies are now facing one another across this whole battle map right now. Huge amounts of Prussian troops on this right-hand flank. Crazy to see. So much infantry. And they're all hiding now in the trees, waiting for their opportunity to strike against the Grenadiers of Austria. Their long-term rival, I guess, up until the Napoleonic Wars. Uh, but here we go. The Ottomans are starting to move down the hill and have a look at the Portuguese infantry. A Quite a good matchup, I would say, between the Ottoman and the Portuguese infantry. They're not both not quite as good as, say, the French, um, Austrian, Prussian infantry. But they are both uh, pretty decent. Decent infantry. Uh, but one of the weaker line infantry the units in the game both of those factions have. So, here come the Prussians. Looking like they're going to be probing into the middle but the town is starting to be taken by the portuguese and the, uh, the french on that side with the swedish just holding off for now and seeing where they can probe but at the minute there's very little weakness in either line as both lines are just massed ready to go at each other as we see a little bit of action as the cavalry moves forward for the Swedish over to this right flank. And that is the main advantage these guys actually have. They have a massive cavalry advantage now, uh, looking at it. I know I said the infantry before, but the cavalry advantage uh, has become huge. As the first shots of the battlefield go off with the Nizam Kadet firing into the trees, not quite seeing where the enemy are, but hoping they hit something nonetheless. Uh, and you can see all along the line, volleys are starting to ring out across this battlefield of Salamanca. Very nice to see. The Swedish just slowly pushing up. Slowly taking a nibble at a time. As the Prussians and the Austrians are at a, currently at a stalemate. Um, but it's going to be a lot, of, uh, a lot of cavalry descending on this right flank. I've got a feeling very, very soon. Uh, with th that movement of the Swedish cavalry over that far side. And we can see now the Portuguese and the Ottomans really going at it. The Ottomans down on the bottom of the hill, though. So you don't quite get the full benefit of firing down into the enemy. But look at that glorious sight. Gonna have to wait for a volley to go off so we can uh, so we can take a lovely screenshot once again. You know I love my screenshots on these battles. I've got to choose a thumbnail, guys. So uh, <laughs> we've got to take the screenshots. 
Can't always have the same ones as the thumbnails, so it's good to have a unique one from the battle. Look at that. Glorious. Glorious sight to see. All down the line, the Ottomans and the Portuguese are going at it. But very, very big infantry fight going on there. Have we got anything else moving along the line? It doesn't quite look like it yet. The cavalry are just waiting in the wings. The Austrians have defended this hillside, but there are gaps, as you can see, in a little bit of the hillside. So I don't know whether they're going to try and exploit those or not, but the cavalry has started to move. And look, oh, and it's just tiptoeing forward, just waiting for the right time. As volleys keep firing down the middle. But look at some of these units. They've already taken huge amounts of damage along this center. And maybe the Portuguese player. Oh, look, here it comes. The Portuguese cavalry has gone straight for the mounted Nizam Keda in, uh, cavalry. Really going ham there. Really going ham. Fantastic. As we see the infantry of Prussia pushing up on this far side. But let's get back to the action. Look at that. Glorious to see. Portuguese cavalry coming down the hill. But it looks like the Ottomans are going to come through on this one. And they've pushed them back just with overwhelming numbers there. And the ability to fire volleys from their squares over on this side. Really, really good move there by the Portuguese. But maybe needed to come out a little bit sooner and not leave his men in there against such overwhelming force. But the Portuguese cavalry is going to crumble on this side. So is their infantry. And we're going to see a flooding around this flank. Surely now it's going to happen. Look at the glorious charge by the Ottoman cavalry. Just charging through the Portuguese. Not bothered by the square over there. Really charging through. And let's have a look on this far side. Are we seeing some action now? The foot guards now are fighting the German fusiliers down on this flank. As the Austrian player just slowly trying to defend this hill over here. Let's have a look in the middle. What has happened down in the center here? I see that the uh, one of the Swedish cavalry or maybe the Ottoman cavalry. No, it's, it's the uh, Ottoman cavalry has decided to try and push back some of the French. Making them go into square. And now the volleys are ringing out upon the French as the Swedish come forward into the fight but look at this the portuguese flank has crumbled and that is really gonna just wrap up this whole side of the battlefield he does still have a lot of uh, troops in reserve so those are gonna have to be brought forward if there's any chance for the uh, portuguese in this battle here and he is going to retreat that is the right decision he is going to take his men and run away but look at some of them they are damaged damaged units now the same with a lot of the ottomans but they seem to have fared quite a bit better apart from on this very left flank but look the ottomans still have loads of troops in the front line there because the ones that have been damaged are getting charged into the fusiliers of the line as this fusilier fires into the enemy maybe there's some local rivalry going on between the regiments they don't like where those people are from in france and uh decided that that it was time to fire into their backs rather than into the Ottoman infantry. But here come the infantry. They have pushed through. Fantastic fighting there. As the Swedish just wait in the wings, ready to go. As the line infantry over here is going to fire a volley into the young guard and try and take them out. You can see that the town has really not been the focal point so far. And that has probably been to the benefit of these guys over here. Really taking the fight to the Portuguese. And now the Portuguese troops are laying in wait. But they're slowly, slowly pushing up the flank. And here they come. Fighting through the middle. As the Swedish mounted Jaegers are trying to hold back this infantry. So the Ottomans can fire some volleys into those boys. As the mounted Jaegers come up the hill as well. And you can see that these mounted Jaegers actually have 80 people in. Which is quite uh, a glorious amount. A massive amount of mounted troops. As the Chasseurs only have 60. But look at this. The Swedes are going to cry and creep around this left flank and disconnect the French from the Portuguese there. As the Portuguese really don't have much left on this flank. The Ottomans have really done a bit of a blitzkrieg on them and smashed them backwards there. But let's have a look on the right. See whether anything of note is going on down here. We can finally see the Prussian player pushing up. And it, it, it kind of looks a little bit like maybe the Austrian player is a little bit newer. 
than some of the other players on this battle map. As, yeah, they're overlapping lines and all that sort of thing. And they brought a lot of Grenadiers. And Grenadiers generally don't work so well in online. Uh, although getting the Grenadiers into the building there is actually going to be something that might work out very well. As they are a glorious unit in melee. But the Portuguese have just finally just crumbled down this flank. As we see the charge, the last charge of the Portuguese cavalry. The last chance saloon at trying to retake this flank. But they know it's futile. And that's why they're going to run from the glorious rampaging Ottoman troops now. But no, the Portuguese cavalry is coming back at them. Really trying to fight. Uh, really trying to fight hard to push back that Ottoman cavalry. Because they know how powerful that cavalry is. As a Swedish charge through the middle. Splitting the Portuguese and the French. But the Portuguese are done for now. The Ottomans surely are going to take this hill and come round onto the flank. One thing we've got to be careful of is overextending that middle. But they've got plenty of troops here to fill any gaps that have seen no fighting so far whatsoever. And the Austrian and the French player really just watching on as the Portuguese player gets routed down the centre. But you can see the Ottomans have paid a heavy price with none of their cavalry left over here as they try and fight the chasseurs the Swe swedish are coming up keep wanting to say the swiss but the swedish keep wanting to come up the hill and are going to charge that chasseur and all they're doing here is just trying to delay the uh, charge of the ottomans but i don't think anything can stop the charge of the ottomans in this battle what a glorious flanking maneuver as the prussians and the swedish have just held and uh, the austrians and the French have really not helped the Prussian player there. Not Really not come round and tried to help them. But we can see the Prussian player cycling out his men. Really just putting a bit of pressure on the Austrians now. So that they don't need... Uh, so that they can't send anyone to this right flank to help. And it's going to be some bloody fighting along this left flank coming very soon. Uh, very soon and through the city as well. Because trying to take this building and trying to take the city... You're deadlocked by so much stuff. It's really hard uh, to uh, to get through. Bottlenecked in a lot of places, uh, as you can see. But on this right flank, the Prussians are coming up as the mounted Jaegers have decided that it may be time to mount a charge against the enemy here as the Prussians move forward one more time. But fully on the left flank, you can see that Portuguese army has been fully routed now, absolutely blasted through by the Ottomans. Almost like quite surprising that the Ottomans managed to smash that Portuguese army back so quickly, uh, but they did. Let's just watch the slow advance of the Prussians along this side. As we've reached one of those sort of lulls in the battle where everyone's trying to take stock of what has just happened. And you can bet that the French and the Austrians now are really really going to be worried because look at this encirclement that's going on once again we see the great huge encirclement that happens uh when you get a flanking maneuver pulled off in this game fantastic glorious to see uh, as the Prussians just slowly working their way forward not taking any risks not needing to charge in because they know the ottomans are going to just be piling pressure on that flank that all the way on this right flank, even though it's all the way over on the far flank, they know that all the way over there, all that pressure is eventually going to mean that these Austrians will have to either retreat or just buckle under the constant pressure that this whole front line is being put under over here. But here come the Swedes coming forward, ready to fire into the old guard, the glorious old guard, fighting in the streets of Salamanca there. And for once, not fighting Spanish peasants and actually fighting armies. I'm sure they're happy about that for once. But yes, the French are uh, really struggling here as they go into square to try and fight off the Nizam Kader infantry. But that's really not going to work. I know the, the old guard are strong, but all these volleys coming in against them are just going to brutalize them as the smounted Jaegers come round this flank as well. But you can see they've started to try... And, um, you know, push further and further left. But just extending the lines. And that is because of this constant pressure by the Ottomans and Swedes over here. 
And they're really, they're going to have to retreat a little bit in the middle, as you can see there. But here comes some Prussian advances coming up the middle. And already the Austrian player is buckling. The only, the only way that you can save yourself if, if this big flank happens, guys, in, a, in an online battle, is for you to push the other flank so that it becomes more of a straight line rather than a big encirclement, if that makes sense, if we have a look on the map. So if that flank had happened and the Austrian player had then beaten back the Prussian and just created a straight line that way, that's the only way you can really try and save yourself if that happens. Um, that's, you know, that's uh, that's with online etiquette. I'm not, uh, you know, you could probably save yourself if you hug boxed, if you ran into the corner and hug boxed. But yeah, that that's not that's not great etiquette, is it, for online play? So, yeah. Uh, but yeah, the Ottomans are continuing to come forward. Their troops are now starting to look look a little bit weary and a little bit battered. Uh, but the Portuguese and the French are just not going to have much left as the Nizam Keda infantry come forward once again. Fusiliers of the line, not really anywhere to go. But it does look now. Like the Ottomans are a little bit stretched or a lot more stretched than they were before. And they have been fighting for their lives for such a long time in this battle. But here come the Prussians really piling on the pressure on this right flank now. And look how much infantry they've got left as well as the Swedes. So much infantry. It really doesn't matter what they do. They're just going to be able to overwhelm the enemy. And look. They're in four, five thick blocks of troops, not even fully spread out. And they're still spreading out across the whole sort of battle map here. Very cool to see as the Prussians, uh, as the Austrians are just getting pushed back. Some of these uh, units have been battered, but the amount of infantry that the uh, Prussian player had really just means that he can just cycle his troops in and in. And you can see that cleverly, uh, Carl hasn't gone and pushed really hard into the city because that is where you lose a lot of men in the meat grinder of the city and allowed the other members of the team to push on the flanks. And that is where that everyone knows all the main damage is done in these Napoleon Total War online battles as the Swedes come forward and face to face with the old guard as the 40 men started with 160 down to a quarter of their starting amount, less than a quarter now, as they charge forward into the enemy. That is enough to see one of the line infantry retreat, but it's also enough to see the old guard start running from the fight. And we know what happens when the old guard run from a fight. That normally spells the doom for the French army there. But here come the musketeers. Trying to fight the Dragoons, and these Dragoons are just walking. Probably just a misclick there uh, by the Austrian player. But the Prussians are just slowly but surely and steadily coming forward as the Grenadiers now ready to get into the action, firing down upon the enemy. I do love the look of these boys. Very cool indeed. Look at them firing into the enemy down the hill. Fire, boys! Fire! Got a little cheeky little screenshot there. I'll just wait until they fire. But glorious. You can see this is a huge flank. And it didn't even need many troops in the middle, as you can see. Not too many troops right there in the middle. Interestingly enough, it looks like the uh, they're waiting for volleys with the uh, grenadiers there, rather than firing at will, which is very interesting. But the Swedish are still pressing through the center. And although this is going to be hard to take, it's a fair, finer, doing a great job of pushing around this left flank as the Ottomans are facing, facing off against the last remaining of the Portuguese army. Battered and bruised the Ottomans are. The Portuguese do have some fresh troops left, as we can see. Uh, but is it going to be enough to hold off the Ottoman horde that is really just absolutely crushed this left flank today but here come the Prussians pacing up the middle really doing quite a lot of damage uh, to this Austrian army and that is because the Austrians are not really getting into the greatest of formations they're not full lines and look at them the uh let's have a look at those Austrians German fusiliers down to like 30 men 
And the Hungarian Grenadiers down to 28. Look at that. The Prussians just really mincing this Austrian force. Absolutely mincing them. Ah, brutal, brutal fighting going on. So the foot guards down to 42 as well. They have been fighting for a long time. And they can't, they can't form square. Here comes the charge by the Dragoons. And that is just, oh, sending men flying all over the place. And I think that is going to be the end of that foot guard unit as their own men fire into their backs to try and rid them of the Dragoons there. But look at this. The Hungarian Hussars finally in the fight. Charging into the uh, Mounted Jaegers. Not really doing too much damage, but disrupting the volleys of the Musketeers there, which is a great thing to do, as well as the Mounted Jaegers, as the German Fusiliers form square uh, to ward off the enemy cavalry. The Prussians really just starting to push now, really starting to get into the rhythm of pushing as the Portuguese try and put some pressure back on the Ottomans. Um, and you can see this kink is something that could be dangerous, but there's just not enough troops left on the opposition's uh, armies to really do any damage. As the Swedes, we see the Swedish cavalry charging through after the general of the Austrians. And the Austrians have crumbled over here on this flank. There's so much infantry left. The Swedes have hardly had any of these guys even in the fight. Look, they're all on 160, apart from this lifeguard. Very, very few... Um, Swedish troops needed even on this flank over here. So very good use of troops by everyone involved here on that far side. Uh, but yeah, the Prussians are going to try and take out the last remaining reserves of Austria. As uh, the Portuguese come forward for a big face-off with the Ottoman boys over this side. Look at that. Glorious sight to see. Glorious sight to see. As the uh, Portuguese decide to take some volleys into the Ottomans. Now, the Ottomans are battered over here, but as I said, I think there's plenty enough troops left on this far side. But look, the French uh, Cheval Leger Lancers were all the way on this far flank, and I don't know why. And they might go for a little snipe on the Swedish general or the Ottoman general over here. It's a Hail Mary last attempt for them, if they can. But the old guard are going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the mounted Jaegers here. But yeah, that's going to be... Uh, a brutal fight for everyone involved. Look at that. The old guard and the line infantry of the, Sw of the Swedish there as well. Come on, the old guard. You can fight. 41 men still standing strong. Brutal, brutal fighting going on in the center now. As the Prussians have fully just encapsulated that town over here. As the Austrian player is just surrounded now and there's not but these Hungarian grenadiers unfortunately there's nowhere for them to go and all they're going to do is go for the final charge into the foot guards glorious charge down the hill into the foot guard unit brutal charge but it's surely the morale of the Hungarians is going to just fail them as the Swedish come just in case and the other German grenadiers this time have routed as well but look at this, the French just getting squeezed now in the middle and all that's really left on the battlefield are these Portuguese troops and a few of the French left in the centre as well as these two grenadier units sat inside the building there. So really, some strong moves overall. It was slow and steady on the right flank, but it didn't need to be fast because the Ottoman blitz at the start, the fields of dead of Ottomans over here, was an absolute blitz, wasn't it? It was brutal, brutal, brutal blitz all the way around this flank, down the hill. And now they're starting to see a little bit of, uh, of their infantry starting to fail them. But there are plenty of Swedish and plenty of Prussian troops on the way. They just need to hold out for a little bit longer as the Swedish cavalry and French cavalry route themselves, <laughs> route each other. As the Mounted Jaegers probably going for a bit of a snipe. But no, he's using the uh, the firing tactic into the square. As the Mounted Jaegers, always a good tactic to use. Because the square doesn't really have that much firepower compared to a lot of... Compared to them being in line, for example. So by getting your men to shoot into the square from the back of the horse, uh, you can do a lot of damage. But the Portuguese are really, really damaged now. Not much left for them to do. 
The Swedish coming around this flank. Not even needed. There's no one left here anymore as the Swedish cavalry just go on a bit of a killing rampage throughout the map, picking off weaker units of the enemy. Now, the Portuguese, as I say, do have these last couple of grenadiers, and they are um, in this building. But the, uh, the allies have just... Just left this building right till the end because there's no need to uh, fight that. But the lifeguards of foot coming in to the building, streaming in. Look at that. Oh, everyone wants to get in. Q forming as they're fighting inside the building there. Wonder whether we can get inside. No. Not going to be able to glitch it inside. But you can see the fight going on inside the building. I have to shout because it's so loud. But the lifeguards of foot getting into the building, getting their hands dirty, fighting those Portuguese. And all that's left now is just to finish off the few stragglers that remain of this Portuguese army as the mounted Jaegers go for a charge on that Portuguese general who has not been killed as of yet, I don't believe. But one of the mounted rifles used all their ammunition uh, and it is this one against this square, I believe. But here come the Prussian forces as the fight still rages inside the building. And the Grenadiers seem at the moment to be winning slightly. Oh, you can see just brutal fighting happening inside the building as the uh, General's bodyguard of the Ottomans charges the 18th Regiment d'Enfantry de Ligne, the brave regiment. And it has finally crumbled after being down to 25 men, almost wiped out there. But the, uh, the lifeguards of foot are going to keep up their fire into the building. Probably do a bit of friendly fire, but it should help out as well. Uh, as the Portuguese infantry doesn't manage to get in square in time. And the Swe uh, Swedish are just going to smash through that line. But they're still steady and they do have their general nearby. So that might be something that saves them in this instant. As the Prussians are just continuing on their march of conquest around this battlefield here but finally it is just going to come down to this building in the end a building that's been occupied since the start uh but this uh the allied carl's allies they did a very good job of not going into the city because as i've said it can become a meat grinder imagine this at the start and losing like two of your elite units just trying to take this building would really hamper them in the long run it's the butterfly effect so by avoiding trying to take the city and go through the meat grinder here, they really managed to fly free around both flank and just leave it to the end. It was of no concern because the opposition were not pushing in the center at all. And all that remains is this single unit of grenadiers there. All that remains. But what a fantastic battle once again. And surely that is the end. I don't see anyone else. There we are. What a glorious battle once again. And some huge kills there. Look at that. 2,000 for Carl. 1,800 for the French player. And the Portuguese, 1,400 as well. So it's a very, a very close battle. It seemed a lot, lot closer than what it looked like, uh, I guess, on the actual battle map itself. But just a huge amount of troops on that battlefield. Look at that. There's about... Yeah, there's about uh, 15,000 troops on that battlefield there, guys. So we have witnessed a 15,000-man brawl for the victory there. What a, what an absolute battle. But some great, uh, great fighting overall from everyone. Some really good fighting there. And that blitz by the Ottoman was just crazy. But look at that. Some huge, huge amounts of kills here. And I am surprised Carl got that many kills. And it, it yeah... Just because the Swedish seemed to be holding off in that center because they didn't want to go through the meat grinders to start with. But I think a lot of it is these mounted Jaegers just running rampant when the battle opened up and just creating so much damage. 237 kills for this one. 178 for those lifeguards. 134, 143. And the Jaegers, look again, 100, 111, 97, 92, 85. Some huge stats from the mounted Jaegers there. In fact, 60 for the lowest amount of kills of any unit is just obscene, really. That is a huge, 
Huge kill tally there. So what a great battle, guys. Please do like and subscribe, all that good stuff. It really does help the channel out. And I will see you all again on the next battle video. Battle, video, battle, 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 battle.